Hello, I'm Tamara Yosilov, and I'm going to read a poem from my most recent collection, The Black Place. Dark Light. A shooting star makes a sound like a scratch in vinyl, like the night is a record you can play. Some songs only make sense when they stutter on a note. The air is heavy and smells of violets. The sky is a graveyard of stars. My eyes hurt from too much looking. Once I saw the aurora from a dock in Norway. Men were going about their business, hauling great loads from one bay to another. The aurora was nothing to them. It had lost its wonder. It was green and strange. It swayed to an unheard tune. It must be what people see when they think they're haunted. A light that moves like we do, but has no form. When people come back from near death, they talk about a pulsing light at the end of a long hall. I practice my ghost walk for when I need to haunt. I am all soft edges, a silhouette caught on the horizon. Two. The artist waits until the dead hour when his eyes yield to darkness. Only now he can draw, the burden of sight lifted. He rises from sleep, takes a nub of charcoal firm and dry between his fingers, hears it chur against paper, digs a line into the coarse weave. He wants to be nothing more than motion, not even a hand, something without source. He wants to make a mark that doesn't resemble anything he knows no word assigned to it. He wants to draw a loss, like a gush of air released through a long unopened door, the way night sucks shape and color from a chair or rug, even though he knows they're still there. He can't be certain. Things are unmade in darkness. His body has vanished, just ticking organs, a funnel of breath. Walls melt away, the room opens to sky. Faith unravels like a ball of string. Three. I stand inside a pool of streetlight, holding the dark at bay. This must be what it's like to have a god. Sodium casts a sickly yellow on my skin. In the ancient map, there are monsters hugging the places where the maker had no clue, where you might fall off the edge into nowhere. I had a nightlight as a child, a plug-in candle in the corner of my room. But a monster lived behind my eyes, and even though it died each morning, it rose up again at bedtime. Back then, my parents would sing me to sleep. Now they're ash and bone. Our lives are brief, like the banks of candles in cathedrals, each a, each a flame for someone loved, or the light I see framed in curtain windows for each one who's lit a lamp made a strike against the dark.